charm bangle, we're going to use memory wire. And memory wire is wire that's always in the same shape. It's like a slinky. It retains this circular size. And you'll want to buy bracelet size memory wire. And the first thing we're going to do is cut a loop of the memory wire. And to do that, I'm going to find the end of the memory wire here. That's the end. I'm going to go all the way around once. So that would be to here. I'm going to give it a little room for overlap. So I'm going to go past that beginning point to here. And I'm going to cut that with wire cutters. And it's important that you don't use your good wire cutters because memory wire is very hard. So I'm using just my industrial wire cutters for that. So this is going to be our charm bangle. And the next thing we want to do is use round nose pliers, which I have here. And I'm going to bend a circle or a little loop into the end of the memory wire. So I'm just going to grab it here at the end. It's going to take a little bit of strength because the memory wire is so strong, but I'm just going to twist and reposition the pliers and twist again until I have a loop at the end. That loop is, I'm flattening it, that loop is going to keep the beads from sliding off of our bangle. So next I'm going to put on some beads. I have some four millimeter bicones here in this pretty kind of blue topaz color. And I'm going to put three of those on and then I'm going to put on a charm that's in the same metal as our memory wire. And then I'm going to feed on three more bicones. And these beads are just going to slide around on this bangle. And that's the fun of it, that there's a lot of movement with this bracelet. So there are beads on there. This is an R. And then the last thing we do is just put another loop at the end. So I go to the end that doesn't have the loop. I'm going to flip that over. I take the round nose pliers again, grab it at the very end, and just give it a little bit of strength to twist that loop in. I'm letting the pliers do the round work. Like I'm just bending it around the jaw of the pliers. And then I'm just going to flatten it across like that to make sure the loop meets the wire. And there we have a cute little bangle. Mm -hmm.